Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to PGA Tour 2K21 live here on the channel. Now, today we are going to be playing Amaru Bay which is currently hosting the challenge down under on Early1981's World of Golf Society. I will explain why I'm not playing that society event or should I say recording and uploading that society event. But without further ado, let's check out this course. So this course is an Australian fictional course. It was designed by Mike Jordes. It is an absolute superb course. I have played it. You can see that I have teed off and we are through hole one, but we are leaving everything at default. Fairways are firm, greens are normal, green speed is fast, time of day is dawn and weather is clear. Let's check out the tee options. We will be playing from the longest tees. We do have three tee options. We're going to be playing the black tees, which are 7,205 yards. And for today's round, we will be playing on pin set number four. So let's begin round. Now, the reason I am not uploading my society round, guys, is I had the glitch again where my character's neck is broken. I hit the ball, he flies about the course, underneath the greens chasing after it, and it's just not an enjoyable watch. I have uninstalled the game and reinstalled it. We have played the first hole here before recording, and fortunately, I didn't see any issues at all. So hole number one, we've got 13 mile per hour wins, uphill fairway, just going to take on as much of this fairway as possible and let the wind turn us, but we've hit a slow 98% power. And that is not a good start. We are going to have a tough uphill shot into this elevated green from the bunker. Just want to get this up there and hopefully leave us a putt for birdie. Don't want to come up short and land in the bunker like I did in the society event and ended up with a bogey, I think it was. Maybe even a double bogey in the first hole. So we went from a slow to fast this time. And that is going to leave us a putt from distance. But when the glitch happens, guys, it's so, so frustrating. I can't explain it. I don't think it's an internet issue because my son, who plays on the same internet, doesn't experience that glitch. I don't think that's not going to get there. I don't think it affects my performance, but visually it distracts me. But I wanted to showcase this course because it's such a fantastic course, guys. It really is a brilliant course to play. The scenery... The, the layout, the attention to detail the designer has put into this course is amazing. So once again, 13 mile per hour wind setting us down the left hand side. There's a far superior swing line. And that is going to make its way all the way down this fairway. And that should leave us nothing more than a wedge into this green. On the society, the winds are set to medium and I think it's a southerly wind. And obviously these guys are playing on the pro settings. I won't get anywhere near the leading scores on the master difficulty settings. But let's try and enjoy the round. Have a good round here. And hopefully showcase this course. So pitch and wedge. Just try to find the slope. And let this ball work its way down towards the pin. That is a great shot. That should check up surely. I am amazed that ball's not checked up. It's actually ran on way past the pin. That is going to leave us a six foot putt. Green speeds are 174. And this should be our opening birdie. How on earth has that turned as aggressively? That's gave me a different break. I'm sure that bead wasn't as aggressive near the hole as what it showed me on the putt. But there we go. Just find that I can't get anything going at times in this game. Especially when it comes to society events. I just can't seem to, to drain putts. We're going to have to really loft up this hybrid, apply full backspin and just try and float this into the green with that 12 mile per hour wind. A fast here and we are in the water. Really nice. We do get the perfect. That is a really good strike by the way. And that should sit down. It's carried me a lot longer than I expected but it's one of those winds where you're kind of uncertain of what it's going to do. And that is going to leave us a chip shot just from the, the light rough. Really amazed that ball carried as far as it what it did. Let's see if we can hold this out or at least get it close. We do get the perfect. Go on, get in. Oh, I think it's going to be one of these rounds, you know, just like my society rounds where I play well, but just 
nothing seems to materialize and reward my uh, gameplay at times. So we are level part, we should be at least 2-3 under here, but this is a very birdieable hole. Now the guys using the, the longer driver on the society will cut this course up if you're comfortable with pitch shots. I've had a slight fast, that could be in the water actually. I think this may kick into the bunker with the contours of the fairway. But guys, as always, I cannot thank you all enough for the continued support on the channel. It is truly appreciated. I'm actually been playing with about 15, 16 different um, subscribers on the PlayStation 4 over the course of the last three, four weeks. And I have met some brilliant, brilliant people. It's great to get to know some of you, so thank you for that. I do really enjoy our friendly casual rounds. That is a fantastic shot, and hopefully that checks up. I really expected to get a little bit more check there. Must have found a slight okay, slope. No slope at all, so I'm amazed that ran out as far as that. But once again, very makeable putt. 174. It is going to break from left to right. Green speeds seem really, really slick, actually. I would say they seem faster than 174. Oh, my goodness. It's another putt. Okay, let's finish up. It just fails to drop. Another misread from me. And that is why you will never see me at the top of leaderboards, guys, consistently, because my putting just really lets me down. So start at a par fives, you've got options here. I'm always going to take the left-hand side because I feel it's going to leave me a shorter approach shot into the green. It is the more riskier option. But that's what this course does offer. It's a risk-reward course, and it does reward good play nine times out of ten. So just going to fully loft up this three wood. Nine mile per hour crosswind, huge slope at our feet. Just going to try and get this on the dance floor as close as possible, slight fast. I think that's going to kick hard left, though. It's a very hard um, green to get near in these conditions with the wind taking you away from the flag but we do have an eagle opportunity here 34 feet hopefully at least we pick up birdie here this has got a huge swing from left to right hopefully that does turn go on swing swing oh it's a good effort and we should ensure our first birdie of the round i should at least be two for the under before we drain this putt but we will pick up our first birdie and move to one under par Clearly the, the designer is a very accomplished and talented designer, but these wins are really making this course far more difficult. It seems the wind, this specific wind I've got here, I think it's a northwest, is it northeast? Is really going to hinder me. The wind our, our PC Ammon did pick, oh it's an east wind um, for the society, seemed to to be very forgiving and improve your chances on the course. But once again, we have showcased or picked another phenomenal course for the, the society. So this should kick up onto the dance floor here. This should be a really, really good shot. Go on, get up. It's reluctantly making its way up. I thought that would have got up there a little bit more than what it did. But we do have a 17 foot putt. Once again, very makeable, breaking both ways here. I feel it's just breaking more to the right. So just going left edge of this cup here, left hand side of the, the pin. That should turn back. Oh, it does turn back and we do pick up our second birdie and we move to two under par and the course is now starting to give us a little bit of a break here. Hole number seven already, only two under. But these are fairly tough conditions. Once again, need to set this down the left hand side, that east wind should take us over to the right. Tell you what, swing tempo and line since the first hole has been very good and consistent. But stay tuned to the, the channel, guys. We are having a, a friendly society v society event against the Tin Cup Society. It will be a match play event. I will be giving more information on that when we do finalise the details. But really looking forward to it. So, having to go four iron here. Just try to float this in. Good bit of backspin. Come on, ball. 
Come on, get down, get down. That wind's reluctantly holding that up. But it is going to leave us a downhill putt, I feel, for birdie. Slightly downhill, but once again, not a huge amount of break in this putt. Very makeable. Just going outside left once again, and hopefully that green does take us round. It's a good putt line. Come on, surely that's got to turn. Oh, it does turn. And we are starting to pick up some birdies now. Three consecutive birdies, and with that, we do move to three under par. But this really is a fantastic golf course, guys. Once again, on the, the Southern Hemisphere. Brought things down to three under after that one. And we move on to this par three. Oh, now this is the one with a dam. Wait to see the level of detail that's in this dam. I'm not the best with the, the camera. But look at that. He's even put in the doors and the walkway for access to the dam. It's absolute phenomenal, by the way. Just the level of detail in this course is truly majestic. So, tough par three here. With that wind, that tree on the left-hand side certainly in play. So we're really going to have to try and draw this against the wind up into the dance floor. Anything right of the, the pin here, and it's going to work its way off the, the slope. So big shot coming up. Oh, we got the perfect. Come on, ball. Turn. Turn. Oh, this is a phenomenal golf shot, guys. That really, really is. If that holds the top part of the green, it does. And that really is a fantastic golf shot. And it's again gave us a good look for a makeable birdie. Slightly uphill from 21 feet. Once again, not a huge amount of movement in these putts. Like I say, this is pin set number four. I've played that too firm. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, how did that not turn? I thought I played it too firm. I didn't. Played it absolutely dead weight. And I can't believe that didn't turn. It definitely said the green was turning from left to right. And once again, it is another missed putt. But let's look back at the dam here. This is clearly the other side of it. Waterfalls, dams, elevation gains and drops, beautiful scenery, and most importantly, the course play is truly majestic. What more do you want? So with this wind, seven mile per hour wind, the wind has really dropped down now. I think we can just apply touch a draw here, and try and get this as far down the fairway as possible. Once again, being brave, Hopefully fortune does favour the brave. It's another really good swing. Oh, this one's in the fairway. That should really work its way all the way down this fairway. Is it going to hold the fairway though? Contours left. What a monster drive. And I think that may have left me a pitch shot, which, oh, no. wow. This is a 1 in 10 shot for me now. I'm just going to... Go to Sandwich, fully apply backspin due to the, the slow part of feet. And just pray I get a perfect or a fast, because if not, this could go horribly wrong. It's a slight slow, I will take that. Get up there. It's not a bad effort, not the worst outcome. This came up way short due to the slow. It's an 18 foot putt. This one's turning from right to left. We've got the weight. Go on, get in. Oh, I tell you what, I think we had the read, but if you look at my putt line there, I did slightly push it, and that could well have been a factor to missing that putt. But a solid front nine. The greens are fairly forgiven. I think the challenge on this course is from fairway to green. And especially some of the tee shots as well with the elevation and the wind factor. But I'm sure we can find the right hand side of this fairway with a driver with that 9 mile per hour wind and the elevation gain across the water. Just want to make sure of this. Yeah, surely we can hit just about there. Wind will hold us up. It's actually went to 10 mile per hour now. I'm sure we can just about make it over and find the right-hand side of the fairway and hopefully leave a wedge 
into the wind. So another perfect. This is the most perfect, perf X should I say, I've uh, executed in a long time. Maybe uninstalling the game has, has really helped me out. Nine times out of ten, if I do have issues, like what I have, that is the only fix for me, is uninstalling the game and then reinstalling it. If you do do that, you don't lose any of your, your saved data. So, I think we're going to have to go, let me see, pitching wedge, 120, 11 mile per hour wind. Slightly de loft in this. Try and use the the contours of the green to help us out. This should be bang on yardage. It's a laser beam. Wind's not holding that up, by the way. Look at the steps. How on earth did that wind not hold that up? That was an 11 mile per hour wind, 12 mile per hour wind into an elevated green. I find that one slightly strange. Might have just de-lofted it a little bit too much. Let's see if we can get this chip close. Turn, turn, turn. Oh my goodness. That has ran on a fair bit. That's actually worked its way off the green. And unless we chip this in, that is going to be a bogey. Really disappointed with that. I am truly amazed the wind did not hold me up. So first real mistake of the round unless we can execute this chip. Go on, get in. Get in, get in. Oh, wow. Nice. It's going to come up short. So it feels all our hard work so far to get to three under. Which, let's be honest, if it wasn't for a, a few missed simple birdie putts, we would be four, five under easily. But we find ourselves now two under. And I don't think that reflects how I've played here. Let's see if we can get this one close in this par for the 11. Seven iron. Wind should hold us up and also move us to the right. It's another elevated giddy. Oh, there's a huge slope. Maybe this one will kick to the left. Certainly felt that. That was really poor swing timing from me. And that has left us a monster putt. 53 feet down 3 inches. Like I said a few holes ago, this certainly is a risk reward course. It is going to reward good, brave play. But at the same time, it will, that could go in. Go on, get in. Get in. Oh, it's just going to slide past the left. But at the same time, it's really going to punish poor shots and poor decision making. And we do pick up the par after that poor approach shot and remain at two under. Now, when I played this uh, round on the Society event, I certainly felt the back nine was uh, easier to get birdies and eagles than the front nine. This is certainly the best my swing timing has been in a long time. And also my swing line, my swing line, which I'm normally very, very good at. And um, we just held up there, by the way. I really expected that to, to carry out more. But this is now going to be a tough approach shot with a lie at our feet, wind, uphill. Lots of things to take into consideration here. But six irons should just be about perfect. We do get the perfect. Go on, this should be really, really good. Oh, we needed another yard or two yards in the air. And that could have worked out really, really well. But yeah, my swing line, which I'm normally very good at executing, has been a bit off of late. But it's good to see it back fairly straight. It's another missed chip. It was a, it was a tough chip shot, in all honesty. And we do pick up another par. And still two under. I mean, I can't believe I'm only two under, especially how well I'm swinging here. It is due to a few missed putts. But the course in this wind condition is playing considerably tougher here. This fairway is really going to kick hard, right? got a nine mile per hour wind so setting this way down the left hand side coming over the top of that tree and hopefully we've got enough fairway to work with here but really enjoying this Ryan like I say I feel as if I'm having to to play extremely well here just to get under par now don't get me wrong pro settings to to master settings is far easier let's all be honest 
the guys in the society, we have got some top, top players that just shoot lights out golf. And like I say, 14, 15, this is a worldie by the way, 14, 15 under, 16, 17 under even at times is winning at our society events. And you cannot take that away from these guys. You can say it's on pro settings, but even on pro settings with some of the courses we do pick, the scores are absolutely fantastic. I would like to think they're all legitimate. We have had a few cheater and the guys who are chipping on the green religiously. They will not be um, tolerated in the society. But this is a really makeable eagle putt. Just going to try and get it down this slope and hopefully I've really under hit that according to the, the power meter. Oh, early. What is going on with my putting? And once again, my putting really is my Achilles heel. That was on line for an eagle there. It wasn't even a tough putt. Just really under hit it. But we do convert the birdie putt. And we get back to three under par. But if you are looking for a, a casual society, guys, and want to go up against some great players, early 1981's World of Golf Society is definitely for you. Like I say, I've really enjoyed playing and meeting new people who are in the society and subscribers. It's fantastic. So five wood. Oh, it's a slow. And with that, probably looking at bunker. Is it going to give us a nice kick? No. It does kick hard right. We do avoid the bunker. So we should be able to splash this close from the light rough. I'm not sure. This particular wind here. Oh, wow, early that needs to get down. This particular wind seems to really enhance the difficulty of the course. And the way I'm putting, this could be missable. It's definitely got a turn at the end, surely. Go on. Oh, there we go. That's a good read. And we do pick up the par and remain at three under. Let's see if we can finish strong because I certainly feel I've got birdies left in me. But look at this for a whole beautiful par five. Just going to try and take this down the right hand side. The wind should take us over to the left. And that should be in prime location. Definitely kicks right here. How on earth did that not kick right? I cannot believe that. And just in the first but we should be able to, to reach the green. This is going to be a brave shot. We're just going to fully loft up the three wood. Choke down on the attack angle. And take on a risky shot over the water here. But need to make things happen. As you guys know, I don't care what I shoot. If I shoot 18 under, brilliant. If I shoot 4 over, I don't really care. It's all about showcasing the, the course and having fun with it. Go on, get up. Oh, we were so close to that being really, really good and getting up there. But hopefully we can get the up and down for the birdie from this greenside bunker. Not the worst of lies. I'd rather be slightly long at a pin here. That's came up way short. And once again, I've left myself work to do. I was trying to be slightly past the pin. It looked like an easier putt. But these are the kind of putts that I miss religiously. And the better players in the society do convert. There we go. If that was a society round, I would have missed that. But we do pick up the birdie after that. Poor splash shot from the bunker, and we do move to four under par. But really enjoying this round. I, I shot ten under on, the, like I said at the start of the video on the society video. I wasn't um, on the society round, not video. I wasn't really trying. I was just disheartened and frustrated with the the glitch again. On a many holes, I was just hitting the default shot it gave me. But I did manage to. To scrape a 10 under. So we're in prime position here. This lob wedge should be about bang on with that wind behind us. Slightly elevated green. So just applying a bit of top spin here. Ball should land short of the pin and hopefully we get an aggressive kick forward. We get the perfect. 
pulled the swing line slightly. It is going over to the left. But it is a good approach shot. Pin high. And hopefully it's going to give us another good look at birdie. So 10 feet. This would put us to 5 under like John says. Just going to try and play this dead weight. And hopefully it does turn like it suggests. Go on. Go on. Oh, early. It's another miss putt. And here we go. Par putt coming up. And we are going to remain at four under par with two holes to play. My putting is really letting me down. My swing timing and swing playing has been really, really good this round on the, the master settings. And I just feel I should be at least three or four shots better off here if my putting was on a part the rest of my game but that is a fantastic tee shot monster drive actually with the wind behind us there and I'm hoping this isn't a pitch it is a pitch so we are going to have to execute a pitch shot here let's see if we can get this one close just applied a bit of backspin on this sand wedge hopefully it does check up Oh my goodness, we got a perfect and a laser straight, straight beam. That is it. I'm delighted. I don't care now what happens in this round. I have managed to get a perfect on a pitch on the master difficulty settings. And we'll miss the putt from 12 feet. It is going to turn hard left here. I, I knew I'd miss it. I wouldn't say I'm a terrible putter. I'm just not a good putter. I'm a very average putter. And we are going to pick up the par. Remain at four under. And let's come down the final hole. Once again, you do have options here. I'm definitely going to be taking on the left-hand side. And it should leave us a reachable shot across the water. If we can find the fairway here. Just want to make sure that this wind's really died down. Wind's really fluctuated out here today. I think we've went from 15 mile per hour winds, 14 mile per hour winds, down to five. Sublime tee shot, and we should comfortably be able to to go over the water here onto the dance floor with a three wood. I did eagle this hole on the society event, so let's see if we can do the same here. Just going to use the slope at our feet and the contours of the green and the wind to our advantage. It should turn beautifully towards the pin. It's a slight slow, but that won't affect us surely. And this should track well. This could be all over the pin, you know. This should really start turning towards the flag stick. Arguably shot the round. And it is going to give us a good look at Eagle here, which we'll probably miss. The way things have been going this round. But it's a 10 foot putt. Very little movement in this. Just going to play this right at the heart of the cup. Looks good. It is good. And we do manage to finish with an Eagle. That is a 66, 6 under. Should have been 3 or 4 shots better, to be honest, if it wasn't for our, our poor green reads and putts. But that is it for today, guys. Really happy to showcase this course on the channel. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.